NoStressMike.com. Oh boy. First, before I get started, I want to show you some of the fruits from our labor. We've got lots of fruits. A lot, a lot. Oh man. And uh, that's what we've been working on today. Uh, we're going to. And there's. We're going to try to. We kind of cleaned up, the, cleaned up the garden some. Got, took some weeds out and some vines and all that stuff. And uh, you see, we got some uh, uh, cantaloupe. What are our, our peppers? And then uh, got some cantaloupe. The Brussels sprout don't look all that good. Uh, watermelon. We had one fall inside the brick. Now we got a, a square watermelon. I don't know how we're going to get it out. But anyway. Uh, and all the stuff we took out, we threw it on the other side of the fence. I think you can see it over there. And uh, it's for the cows. Let the cows eat it. And that's what this video is going to be about. Cows. Um... I had one guy make a comment one time, and he was calling me all kinds of nasty names because I compare uh, the cattle with humans, and uh, in a way of behavior. And boy, he was telling me, "Oh, we're humans. We're nothing like animals." <laughs> yeah. So, and I was telling my my friend, not not my my cow friend, my human friend, and. Uh, he started laughing, and that's what he said. He said, I guess that guy doesn't have any cow friends. <laughs> because, and I never thought about it like that. Because, like I say, we, we pet on these, these cattle, and uh, we take good care of them and all this kind of stuff. So, And so I'm, I'm able to get amongst them and, and, uh, and love on them and, and uh, you know, make some kind of connection with them. And, but anyway, I've mentioned before uh, the, the tribal mentality. And uh, I, another way of saying that is a herd mentality. Uh, because these cattle, uh, they've got a thing where uh, they, they just take everything for granted. I mean, they take it for granted that they've got grass to eat, uh, they've got uh, uh, water, and, you know, they they don't give us humans any thanks. And that's okay. It's no big deal. But, uh, like I say, I compare uh, cattle uh, with, with people. And this is what I've, I've talked about uh, the hormones uh, and talking about the, the women. I made a video talking about women's hormones. And uh, uh, and that's what made me start thinking about it because we're, we're figuring uh, how the cattle do their thing. And uh, But the thing that got me was how the bulls do their thing. And you don't get... We don't. I don't know. Maybe some other people do. But we try to keep everything calm. Uh, we've got a small herd. It's probably. Let's see. We've got nine. Nine over here. Nine, ten over there. So uh, we don't have a lot. And we don't try to make problems. So all these girls, they'll have one guy. One bull will be over there. And, and the problem is, if we get two bulls over here then they start having problems and uh, they start fighting they start doing stuff and uh, uh, so we don't even we don't even put the bulls together like that I know some people do but uh, they do things different than we do and, but uh, using that type of mentality you think these are a race and they hang together. 
Uh, on the other side, they got some horses, three horses over there with them. And the horses kind of hang around together, and the cows hang around together. And uh, they, uh, now sometimes, we don't have that problem, but sometimes uh, the horses will end up chasing the cows. Uh, they just, they don't get along. So, uh, and, uh, but always, uh, the cows have a pecking order. And, boy, they, they make sure that pecking order is, is taken care of. And, I mean, they make sure all the cows, uh, in the group knows where they are in the pecking order. And, uh, and then... Like I say, they don't really see us as humans as part of their uh, their culture, I guess. Their race, what do you want to call it? And so it ends up, what they do is they victimize each other. And uh, to get the, the, what you call it, establish the pecking order. Now, sometimes uh, the cows will get very violent. Uh, most of the time, they get violent with each other. And, uh, but every once in a while, they will try to headbutt us. Now, we might let them get away with it once. But if they start getting too pushy, they start getting too nasty, then they see their way to the sale barn. And... Uh, then where they go from there, hey, who knows? And, uh, well, I know what happens. They get fattened up and they get butchered, what happens. So, But anyway, um, so the thing is, they've got a way of acting among themselves. And then other uh, races, like the horses or humans, get involved. They just kind of, you know, just, just kind of back off. And, uh, but... All the horses and the cows, the cows over on that side of the road and the cows over on this side of the road, understand that we, the humans, they do understand we are the police. We are the enforcers. They do understand that. And, uh, uh, and we're not even in the same race, but they understand that. So... That makes me wonder, in the herd, the herd mentality, or I call it tribal, but it could be herd, uh, they do their things without trying to get us, the humans, or in human terms, the police involved. And I mentioned that. Uh, the Chinese, I I'm, I'm know more about the Chinese than other races. Well, whites and the Chinese. And, and the Chinese will prey upon other Chinese. And uh, the Chinese are known for not calling the police. They let themselves get victimized. And uh, uh, But they, uh, but like I say, they're trying to figure their pecking order. And... Uh, this is why I mentioned uh, the police. We call the police for the 911. We call them because we don't try to establish a pecking order. Uh, even though there is a pecking order. Uh, it's not quite so obvious as it is in cattle. Uh, I know just here, just a minute ago, we were over here on the fence, right over there, playing with the cows, and then one just started walking off over there, and then as they walked off, the whole herd just kind of, they just followed them. No particular reason, they just followed them. Uh, there's no particular reason they're going to eat or they stop eating and just lay down, and next thing you know, the whole bunch lays down. So uh, they're really on peer pressure. Peer pressure is very, very strong in the animal world and in the, the tribal or herd mentality. 
So to get along with the herd, they have to go along. To get along, you have to go along. And uh, now us as humans, we were more advanced, so we established law. And law is gets everybody to go the same thing. Now, uh, sometimes, like what's been happening, they get laws and regulations are so much that we as humans, it gets very difficult to try to keep going. That's why a lot of the small businesses get put out of business. Is uh, The regulations are just too much for them to keep going. Like I say, they put me out when I was in the oil business in the 80s. And then uh, in the early 2000s, uh, I've spent a lifetime uh, with, in restaurants and restaurant-connected businesses. And uh, uh, they ended up with too many regulations, I couldn't do it. So, and that's what they, they do, all this on purpose. And it's a type of control, uh, no different than the kind of regulations we do with the cattle. The way we regulate them, we'll put up a fence. And that fence kind of keeps them in one area and keeps them from doing certain things. And like I say, if they get too routed, we put them in the corral, steel bars in the corral uh, on their way to the market. But like I say, there is, watch animals. And it'll be the same thing with dogs, uh, cats. I'm not a real cat person, so I really can't go into detail with cats, but... I know my dog never, never didn't, didn't, she didn't think, Zena, she didn't think she was a dog. So, like I say, she didn't, she stayed with me all the time. She really didn't hang around other dogs, so uh, being part of the herd was different with her. She was more of my companion. She was with me all the time. So that's, that's the difference. So that's why when people get out of their herd, then it's in a whole other world. You stay with the people you're accustomed to. It's easier, but you get out, it's a little different. This is Mike, no stress Mike.com.